Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Welcome to Shelter Island Heights Pharmacy. Very hard to find a pharmacy that has actually a soda fountain inside. A lot of people have always come in the store and they're so impressed that, uh, you know, I forgot that there's a soda fountain inside pharmacies. I haven't seen them in a long time. A lot of them remember them inside Woolworths. I've seen customers come in, uh, relatives are visiting, and they'll come in and it's like, let me show you our pharmacy. So we own it, but it's really community's pharmacies. This pharmacy goes back to the 1920s. Have you modernized anything? We've actually made a lot of improvements. And you know, we've changed the front around, we, you know, replaced all the steps that are here now and the doors and the windows. We had companies come in that do remodeling and most of the companies that said, uh, you know what, this is what you need to do. You need to take the soda fountain out. Um, this is part of the community's history. And I think if we were to take it out, uh, there would have been a revolt. We probably would have had no business whatsoever. Our customers are more than just customers. They're like family. We've seen children who have now grown up and have children of their own. So it's very special. What's the difference running this business in December and during peak season? You increase your business probably five times from what it is during the winter. You're at a full pace most of the summer and you kind of look forward to the slower pace to catch up, uh, give yourself a break. I don't think too many places would be able to run at that pace for 12 months. All right, welcome to Shelter Island Heights Pharmacy. Well, you know, a full drugstore, small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. Being that it has a pharmacy, the pharmacist has to be here to open unless the pharmacy is enclosed. As you can see, this pharmacy is not enclosed, so we need to wait for a pharmacist to get here to open. We're open 8.30 to 2.30, Monday through Saturday for the food, uh, and 8.30 to 1.30 on Sunday. Let's go over to the soda fountain to, and uh, see what if we can make some special food for you guys and some drinks. It's hard to find an egg cream or even an old-fashioned egg cream. So we have milk and vanilla syrup, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go here with the seltzer. Now, a lot of restaurants and bars, they have the gun. And with the gun, you can't actually do this, which makes the egg cream a lot special. Watch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that like that. Now, I'm not sure how the egg cream got its name. At one time, I did, but Maybe because it looks like egg whites on the top. What do you think? So there's no egg in egg cream? There's no egg in egg cream. Here we have a black and white shake. So what is that? A little bit of milk, two pumps of chocolate syrup, and heavy vanilla, uh, vanilla ice cream to make it nice and thick. All right, so then we're also going to make you guys a root beer float. So we're going to put root beer in there. We're not going to fill it all the way up. And then we're going to put some vanilla ice cream in here. Here we go. We're going to put some more root beer in here. We're going to let it sit a minute. It seems like there's never enough soda in a root beer float or any ice cream soda. So actually I would recommend if you're having one to stay here because then maybe we can put a little splash in there. So uh, see if you're still thirsty. Those are you know, shredded potatoes that we put on the grill. So I'm not really going to tell you too much about it because we don't want to give out all the secrets. All right, here's the chickwich, which is a chicken cutlet with the melted Swiss, Russian dressing and coleslaw. You have a bacon cheeseburger. And then you have what we call the hangover helper, which is the bacon, egg, and cheese, and home fries. We actually go through a lot of those early in the morning on the weekends. PJ actually made you an extra order of home fries right there. Oh, I usually come here for my, <laughs> for my wonderful hot dog because it's excellent meat. Yeah, it's a good breakfast spot. It's usually packed with people in the mornings. What's your favorite meal? Bacon, egg, and cheese. If you're ever in Shelter Island, stop by the pharmacy. Their prescription of comfort food is just what the doctor ordered. It's funny, the number of people that come from wherever they're coming from to the island, to their home, or visiting friends, it's like, you know what? This is the first place we are going. It's like, you haven't been home yet? No, we just got off the boat, and we're gonna grab an egg sandwich or a lunch here. So that's nice to hear, and it sounds like we're doing something right if you're coming back and we're the first stop.